Hey, what is going on everyone? Happy 2020. We are finally into the new year and this is the first video for the new year as well. Took a little break uh, during the holidays with work and uh, family stuff and all that just came rushing at me. So I really didn't have any time to make any videos, but now that's all out of the way and fixed uh, my vehicle, uh, which I will get into that in another video. Uh, during all that time, I picked up some new uh, toys for the Forerunner, and this is from uh, Echo Techni, I believe, Echo Techni. Um, they are a company made in Brazil, and they manufacture all their stuff down in Brazil, and they ship it up to the US to um, a, a distributor from uh, Four Wheel Adventures. Uh, in Orlando. So we're going to go right into it and open this guy up. I've been really looking forward to this particular one. And up this damage in here. Yeah, so as I was saying before, holidays and work just really kind of came at me full force and I just need to take a break from it all and I'm sure everyone else can understand that life happens. But I've been thinking about wanting to get onto this YouTube again and just, you know, I, I don't want to quit so easily and I'm not making excuses. It's just life finds a way to distract you from what you want to do and, you know, try to find passion for. <laughs> but hopefully all the money spent I did on upgrading my forerunner. say the packaging is probably the best. Uh, I know Victory 4x4, they do an awesome job of making sure that your package is not damaged. That was not probably the best packing job by uh, four wheel, but at least it's metal, right? So I can't really destroy metal. Originally, I was thinking of going with uh, these solar panels that would have been mounted, and it's kind of like a flex solar panel, and that would have been totally awesome. I actually would have done that However, uh, the company I was looking at that makes these solar panels for the hood of your vehicle um, can't really do it with a forerunner hood when you have a hood scoop. So that kind of takes it out and it would have been like all patched around the hood scoop. And I like a clean kind of look to it. Assembling the pieces together is pretty straightforward. They're labeled 4R1 and 4R2, 4R1 being the back and 4R2 being the front. You're going to take your flat point uh, screw and your washer and you're going to thread it in between the bracket and the crossbar. And just go ahead and take a hex key and you're just going to tighten that, but don't tighten it all the way. Just leave yourself some room. You're going to take the wing and place it right on top of the holes that have already been pre-drilled onto the crossbar. Then you're going to take your hex head bolt and your nuts and two washers and you're going to thread them through the crossbar. You're going to be needing a crescent wrench and a socket wrench, uh, one holding the other head as you're tightening it down to the crossbar. Next, you're going to take the biggest hex head bolt and you're going to take the wing nut and you're just going to thread that on the end of the wings on the crossbar. Then go ahead, take the crossbars on both ends, flip it upside down, and the feet on each end will be provided with these rubber feet. You're going to go ahead and place those on there so you can prevent your hood rack from scratching the hood of your vehicle. Next, we're going to go ahead and prep the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and pop the hood up. And as we pop the hood, you want to place something in between the hood and the body of the vehicle, just so that you have more space to work with when you're mounting the hood rack uh, onto the hood. And go ahead and throw yourself a blanket on top of that to prevent from scratching the vehicle when you're mounting. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and mount the hood rack onto the hood. Uh, usually you should have a partner friend with you helping you mount it. Uh, for me, I was kind of solo, so I was just taking my time on this and being extra careful. Uh, no room for mistakes on this. And as you notice on the crossbars on one end, I do not tighten or mount the bracket onto the hood. What you'll have to do with the one that's already on the crossbar, you're gonna slide it underneath your hood, and then you go on to the other side and then you mount the other bracket onto the other end of the crossbar so it's just lipping and it's grabbing underneath the hood as well. Don't forget to put the washer in between the bracket and the crossbar and thread that flat point screw in through the washer and into the crossbar. Go ahead and take your Allen key and you're going to tighten in all four corners of the uh, crossbars. Uh, don't over tighten it, just give yourself a little bit of wiggle room to adjust and place the hood rack exactly where it needs to be and then tighten as you go. And that there concludes the installation video for the hood rack mount from Ecotechni. Uh, really like the look of it. Um, during the installation, obviously there's the pros, the cons, and the takeaways from it. And I'm gonna start off with the cons. Uh, I know right off the bat, uh, when I told people about this, uh, they were they really gave their opinion on it, and I do appreciate that. Um, they gave their opinion on it and thinking that it's not a good idea to throw it on there. Uh, one, for visibility. I agree and I disagree with that. Uh, the reason why, uh, visibility wise, yes, it is a little bit harder to like look over the uh, recovery tracks that's mounted on your hood because you lose a little bit of visibility. Uh, it's not that bad, but if I were to stack four on top of those, then yeah, definitely it's a no brainer. Uh, and the reason why I decided to place it on there is because my roof rack is gonna be occupied with uh, my massive rooftop tent on there. And when I get my rear bumper, uh, I noticed that a lot of my friends, when I got in their vehicles, I was looking at the back, the tire carrier was like massive and it was obstructing uh, most of the real rear view window and also their uh, recovery boards and their high jack lift. And I wanna make sure I have all windows open and you know visible so I could actually look and see as I'm driving because I'm a big safe driver. I know a lot of people are gonna joke about that since I threw that on there, so I get it. Uh, so that's why I, I just threw it on the roof, um, on the hood of the vehicle instead. Uh, so those are really just kind of like the cons of that. Oh, and also I know a lot of people have uh, expressed their other opinion that if this were ever to be caked in mud, that when I'm driving on the highway, mud's gonna just go flying right in my windshield. And I won't argue with that. I am very aware of that and I just have to be mindful of it. Uh, whenever I'm done with my off-roading to make sure to wash off my tracks before I ever hit, you know, the highway or uh, whatever, you know, I will pick up a lot of speed and I'm going to go flying in my windshield. So those are really the only cons of that. The pros is, and the real reason I decided to get this is actually protection. Colorado is known for its uh, hailstorms and we get the size of golf balls. I think the record was a baseball size hail. And uh, I had many vehicles in the past that had been damaged to that, and I'm just totally tired of getting my vehicle damaged and having insurance claim that. And with the roof rack uh, on top, it's gonna give it a layer of protection, and with the hood rack, also a layer of protection as well. However, I also have to keep in mind that this area here is exposed and open, so I gotta find a way to like also cover that as well for that protection. Um, now the takeaway, and this is uh, for anyone who's actually are, is interested in purchasing a hood rack uh, uh, for their vehicle, 
this hood rack is not made for Max Tracks. And I'll say it again, it's not made for this brand of Max Tracks recovery boards. And I was a little surprised by that because uh, recovery boards, the Max Tracks ones are 46 inches long and they only custom to 47, 48, and 49 inches long. And I don't know why they didn't even include that. See, um, what I had to do is I, had, I decided to customize it myself and I just drilled two holes uh, on the crossbar here and you know did the measurements to make sure they all lined up evenly and perfect and just really not that big of a deal just took a drill drilled it boom boom and uh, now I just kind of moved the, the wings closer so they were able to latch and grab on to the max track so that's just a takeaway for that so keep in mind on that before you make that purchase and lastly um, these are uh, the bolts with the wing nut here. I'm actually going to be replacing these uh, with the Mac Tracks uh, track uh, pins, and the the pins are specifically designed to actually fit in these holes for Max Tracks. And all you have to do is just kind of like flip. You just flip one side, and it locks in, into its position. And they also drilled like a hole so you could put one of those uh, luggage uh, locks. Uh, through the hole and lock that in so uh, you can have a little bit of a peace of mind that your recovery boards will not be stolen off your vehicle uh, i think that would just be a very bad day to come back to your vehicle from the parking lot and your recovery track boards are uh, gone so two two of those things just to really keep in mind uh, so that's the pros the cons and the takeaways from this project installation was actually pretty much a breeze and i was well surprised by that and also surprised by how well this actually sits in between the hood and the frame of the outside body because I was afraid that this was gonna scratch you know along the inside here but it does not and it's really nice tight and snug uh, and it looks it just looks great one note though definitely one note uh, when you're tightening uh, this don't over tighten it like get it so it's just it's nice and firm but don't over tighten it because uh, I'm worried that if you tighten it this is just gonna push down into the hood and I know we have like the feet here with the rubber feet uh, as you can see there I'm afraid that if you were to tighten it it's gonna push right down your hood and you're gonna get a nice little groove dent from that uh, so just be mindful that don't over tighten it just tighten enough so it's it's nice and secure and check back on it once in a while to see if it's moved uh, yeah and that is it for the video guys so I really appreciate you taking the time watching this video I uh, really enjoyed it and I'm really glad I am starting these videos again holidays were just absolutely crazy and I'm glad to be doing it so thank you guys very much I'm wishing you a happy 2020 and I can't wait to see what the year holds uh, in store for me so peace <laughs>